near me, but you can lay down if you want, starting in former shavasana position, whatever feels comfortable for you, sit on your butt, whatever you want to do. Um, but I always like to start with the grounding, so just bring your attention, your awareness, especially in, in a crazy time like this, it's super important that we learn to practice mindfulness, we learn to bring our awareness and our energy back into our body, and know that this one hour is for you, and there's nothing else that matters, just you spending time inside your body. So, as you're getting comfortable, bring your awareness into this moment, maybe close your eyes. And then take a big inhale through your nose, deep breath in. And then open the mouth, exhale. Big breath, let's go. Good, big breath in, close your lungs up, deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, open the mouth. Let it all go. One more time, big deep breath in. As you exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you, limiting thoughts, decisions, choices disappear right now. Take a moment to set your intention, knowing why you're here, knowing what you want, knowing how bad. Take one more breath and big inhale, and exhale, releasing that intention to the universe, let it go. And then just open your eyes and come onto your back if you're not already there. So we're going to start um, in a bridge position, so make your way onto the back of your back and lay down, and then pull your ankles to go directly underneath your knees. So ankles underneath the knees, the feet are all hip width. So even my hip width is like if you made a fist and put it between the bony part of your knees, that's about hip width. Right? We often start way too wide. Um, so for now, we're just going to go ahead and put an ankle underneath and use arms around your sides, palms facing down to your knees. You know, exhale, tap for a lift your fist up to the ceiling. Squeeze the legs and move your spot. Inhale, get on top.
last round. Do it all. Bring it down to your mat. One more. We're gonna beat up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Bring it up. Reach up. Right. Try and keep those legs on the point. Your toes. Squeeze the leg. Let the leg be heavy. Right. So your lower abs do the work. The straighter we go, the heavier the legs are. We're just gonna pull it into the lower abs. Keep your legs, keep your ankles straight. The bottom of the foot should not be on the floor. 
and time that could be now resting out of it. Same thing, you're gonna lay out long, strong, and straight. So palm down, ears on the bicep. Make sure that you're not back here, right? Hip on hip. Bottom leg holds. Top leg is gonna come up and down. Here we go. One minute. So yeah, just getting the side lines nice and primed. Reaching the legs out. Look at how long the tissue being created. Move a little bit faster if you'd like to. And try to keep a nice pace. We don't want to go too fast because we want to make sure that we're isolating and squeezing. Or is tight. Again, you can rest the bottom leg if that feels better. Otherwise, hold it off the mat and then pull your side leg, pull your waistline away from the floor the best you can. And we're going to help shape you out, creating a nice figure, but also activating the obliques. Continue to squeeze that way. Keep the toes long. Reach it out. This is 10 seconds right here. We're going to finish our abs and then we're going to stand all the way up. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. And time. Get rest out of it. Come to your belly. Right. Bring your hands to your mouth. First, give yourself a child's pose. Just release your back, release your outer body. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. All right, on your next breath. I'm 
We slide your elbows to the mat one more time. Find a forearm plank and then pull those knees in. Step back. Here we go. Knee in. Right? If you feel like you want to keep pulling the knees, but if it's a little bit heavy on your back, you can even come up to your palms and then pull the knees in. It's a little bit less pressure in the lower back. High plank isn't quite as heavy for the core as low plank is. Right? If otherwise, stay down. Keep it tight. Pull those knees. Last little bit, just twice, make it count. Tight leg coming to your belly. Give your legs, upper body, excuse me, a break. Elbows out. Forehead to the hands. Pump the legs up, grasshopper. Okay, push those heels together. Lift the feet up to the sky. Pull the belly button in. Use your breath to support you. Exhale. Okay, really working the back, working the core here. Our first 20 minutes or so, an hour or so, especially after we're doing a lot of maybe sitting, more inactivity for some of you, this is going to be really powerful to help give your back some blood flow. Time to release out of it, hands to your ribcage, press your hips back to your heels, child pose. Pressing into the mat, try and wiggle your hips a little bit closer to your heels, really stretch the back to the inhale. Big exhale, let's it go. And then on your next breath, pull your feet through, come onto your back. So we're going to do just a little bit more abs, and then we're going to come up to the top. So, come onto your back this time. So lay back. And then we're going to start, maybe my favorite, we're just going to do a regular bicycle. So hands to the head, knees are off the floor, and we're going to come right back for a second. Here we go. Coming across the body. Keeping in mind again, we have modifications that are available. Okay, if your lower back is pulling away from the back, Bring your feet down, soles and feet to the mat, and then pull the knees in. Really safe way to get the same activation um, without having to compromise the lower back. Okay? Otherwise, bring it all the way up, tuck your tailbone. Try and get the hips a little off the mat. Exhale. Tie both feet are down, right hands going to come to the side, or you can get back to center. Okay, down to the side, back to center. Thinking about pulling your belly button into your backbone. Tuck your chin, look through your legs. It's going to help round your shoulders off the mat properly. And then make sure you're not choking yourself. Pretend like there's a golf ball between the chin and the chest. Okay, so you can't choke yourself when the head's not hanging heavy back here. The neck is super safe. Tie hands back to the head. We're going to that bicycle cool again. See? Let's finish it with bicycles. Coming across. We'll hit the bicycle, hit the penguin. 
motion, giving yourself the heart of your right hand's point. So you dig a little bit deeper. Okay, be mindful of the head and neck red line. I always think about the chin being centered with the chest. Right? Sometimes when we dip, the head starts to come back and forward. Right? We're not wobble the heads. Keep your neck really tight, really straight. Right? My hips are loose, 
my legs are long, my leg comes back farther. Whereas when Julie comes back, it's a little bit tighter. She keeps her knees closer together, uh, which is totally fine. The most important thing is that you feel the standing leg. You feel that standing leg. Time. Okay, coming up and out of this, slide your hand down. Good transition. Okay, stand back up. And the leg comes up to the side. Still right leg lifts. And thinking about yourself like a pillar of light. So a lot of times I see this, we start to do this. Okay, so what I want for you to do is pull yourself up. You're gonna feel that side glute burn. It's gonna freaking burn, okay? But that's what you want. And now the core is fired up as you're coming up straight up. We're practicing nice posture, right? So we don't walk around like this, hopefully. So let's work out and let's think about how we're strengthening the body for your daily life, right? That's why Pilates is so awesome, because we're thinking time about the whole body. Now we're gonna take the leg out and then back. Out and then back. Think about standing, bending your standing knee a little bit. I know it's hard to see from the front, but from the side. I um, want to not lock it out because then all my weight is in my knee. So bend a little bit, right? Get the muscles to fire, and that's going to also help you keep your stability while you're working. Bear with me, we're going to give the goose a little break. Like that. And back. And back. And like you said, your left Okay, come out of it. You're going to lose your band if you have it. Right? That standing leg takes away way more. That's why you feel it like that. So, um, you are going to grab your weight. We're going to do a little bit of cardio. You don't have to hold on to a weight for this if you don't want to. I'm going to because it's going to give us a little bit more upper body activation. This is called power knees. So, what we're going to do is turn sideways. So, your, um, let's do your left leg. Okay, so your left leg is going to stand, so we're going to keep that leg our dominant leg, and we're going to reach the weight across the body, and then pull it, knee in, reach, and pull. Okay, here we go, 30 seconds, out, and out. Again, you don't have a weight, you don't want to use the weight, Here with me. What happens when we add the weight is one, arms work harder, but also, your abs work harder, yes. right? Especially if you go heavy, it's going to want to pull you over. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Watch out. Move your weights out of the way before you do it. <laughs> We're just going to want to pull you over. We're not going to let it. Up. Up. Find the breath. Find that squeeze. Ten. Good. Step to the front of your mask. Mind you set your weights on. We're going to do a half burpee. We're going to take the push up out. Okay. I'm not going to jump on top. It bothers my ankles. I'm doing my. <laughs> so, reach up. Squat down. Jump back. Jump forward. Hands up. Maybe jump. Okay, remember, if you need to modify, when you come down, step back, step forward, mindfully stand up. Right? That's whatever's available for you. Squat and squeeze. Bend your knees, get the booty active, get the obliques active, and then jump your feet out, outside your hands. A little bit more. Three. Time. Good. Bring it back up. Mind please stand up. We're going to do it one more time, same side. Grab your weight. Okay, so left leg still is standing. Power knees in three, two, here we go. Reach and pull. Ready? Think about the step as well. Sometimes it turns through like this little leg. Right? Get the step out, reach out so that glute works. And then as you come across, really pull it with power. You're coming across your body so you can get the obliques to work to come from what we've been doing. A lot of standing abs today. Okay, I'm not long enough. <laughs> Almost there. Time. Okay, mindfully stepping to the front of your mat. This way. One more. We're going to half burpee. Here we go. Hands up. Squat down. Jump back. Okay, you can add a cat freeze on top as well. Big inhales, big exhales. Move at your own pace. Maybe you want to go fast, right? How many can you do? Maybe you need to slow it down. Honor your body. Burning fat right here. Spiking your heart rate. Hands up. Out. In. Almost there. Out. Finishing it strong. You're right there. Bear with me here. Reach it up. Squeeze it. Almost there. Time. Good. Bring yourself up. Grab some water and catch your breath.
side, left leg is going to work this time. So stepping out into your squat, sumo position, legs wide from the shoulders, toes are forward. 30 seconds, here we go. Bring it down, left side, pull through, push, pull through. Catching your breath here. When your leg lifts, flex it. Get the activation, get the leg long, let the glute work harder. Right, you can see Julie's leg doesn't go quite as high. My thing's a little higher since my band is higher. Okay, great activation either way. Push the Maybe you want, you want to play with it. Do it one way and then try the other. Time, okay? We're going to drop lunge. So right leg stands. Cross your left leg back. Left leg up to the side. Cross your left leg back. Left leg up to the side. Draw it down and back. Let the right leg be doing the work while that left leg just kind of glides back and forward. Inhale. Exhale. Moving with control. You're not flinging your leg up. You're mindfully pulling it up. And down. Tie. Good. Slide your hand down. Right now it's about the knee. It goes right there. Left leg is going to come up right close to the side. There you go. So remember to bend the standing leg slightly. Hands are preference. I like to come to the hips. Sometimes though I'll notice um, as that glute starts to get tired, when my hands are at my hips, I start to do this more and more. Right? So then I'll bring my hands up to my chest. I can center myself more straight up and down with my hands at my chest than with my hands at my hips. Um, so just keep that in mind. Feeling that standing leg. Tight. Okay. We're going to come back to the side. So down to the back, up to the side. Flex the foot, it gets it out of the way. And then find your control. Squeeze through that, bring it up, right? So a lot of the same motion. And again, your standing leg, right? The glue, the side of the glue, that's what's taking all the weight, essentially. So yes, this lifted leg is getting toned, it's getting tight, it's getting shaped out. Your standing leg, we're building that muscle, that stability, that core. A couple more here. Time. Good. One last round. Let's slide that band up so we're nice and even. Bring it up. Or keep it at your legs. Keep it at your ankles. Sumo squat, left leg lifts. Here we go. Down and up. Lift through. Down. Lift through. Pull it. Being stable, right? Most important part. Feel your core firing for you here. Building those glutes. Standing abs. I love standing abs because you might not feel that intense burn. And the abs the same way we do as we do on the floor. But it's really powerful to shake you out, to lean you out, to tone you out. Time. Good. We're going to lunge. So right leg stands, left leg lunges, cross it. Bring it up. Cross <laughs> it. That's why. It seems so easy. Oh, this is way easier. I got it. That's okay. Pull through. Be mindful too. Sometimes, so I overstubinate my feet, which means. I tend to walk on the outsides of my feet if I'm not really conscious of it. Well, I do the same thing when I'm working out a lot. So take your foot and make sure it's flat. It helps if you spread out your toes. Time. Okay, slide that band down. Right above the ankles. You can keep it above the knees if you feel like you can't handle it at the ankles. If that burns just too intense for you today, it's all good. And then come up and pull. Big inhales, big exhales. Setting your breath. And you squeeze, squeeze that leg. Slight bend in that standing knee. And again, acknowledge the pressure on the bottom of your foot. Feel the big toe. Feel behind the pinky toe. Feel the heel. Feel the arch of the foot wanting to pull to the floor. Again, if you start to feel it in your hip flexor, you can pull your leg back a little bit. Time. Okay, our last move right here. We're going to go out to the side and back. So out and back. That little swing helping to shake the butt. And then as the leg comes up and out, again, the core works, right? It's going to want to pull you over. You're not gonna let it. Squeeze. Keep pushing, right? Acknowledge your discomfort. Own it. it. Means your body is changing, right? It always feels good to have what you want. So just keep that goal in mind. Almost there. Woo! Keep pushing. Burn. Pull it back. Squeeze it up. Pull it back. Time. Nice job. Who's your band? Okay, so push that off to the side. We're going to do our cardio on the other side. So we're going to do the exact same set. Starting with power knees, we'll get a burpee heart. It's going to come up. Grab your weight if you want the extra. Okay, so standing on that right leg, 
We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Reach, pull across. Find the breath. Keeping that standing knee bent is important. Right? We keep the weight out of the knee. We keep the weight out of the joint. Up. Exhale through. Feel the abs working. Almost there. Finishing it nice and strong. Keep pushing. Keep going. Time. Good. Step to the front of your mat. Lose your weight. We're going to that half burpee. So here we go. Hands up. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. Reach up. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Keep breathing into the leg. Keep squeezing through that. Right? You guys are doing awesome. Maybe feeling those inner thighs working for you. Boy, it's got a little dizzy. <laughs> feeling those inner thighs working, the sides of the glutes. We're getting everything fired up here. Abs are active. Keep pushing. Keep breathing. Remembering why you made it on your mat today. Last one in. Time. Good. Grab your weight. Let's finish it. One more. And then you're done with that set. All right. So going back. Uh, left leg, right leg, stance. Here you go. How are we? We're going to reach a bowl. Feeling those arms maybe the heavier your weight is. And it's a nice leaning Tony exercise because it's a fast paced push pull. Helps create some definition. Up, up, squeeze it, pull. Tune into that breath. Push a little farther. You got this. Hi, nice job. Lose your weight. We got one more burpee today. Here we go. Come to that. Like Three, that. two, one. Let's get it. Out in. Squeeze it. Reach. Feel that squat. Be mindful. Right? Watch that alignment. I'd rather you slow down and start doing this. Right? It'll hunch back. Okay? It's better to just slow down. Trust me. That is where your results will come from. Right? Not from half-assing it so you can say you did. Squeeze through. Last little bit. Squeeze through. Reach. Time. Nice job. Come down to the mat. We're going to finish on the floor. So coming down onto your knees. You're going to grab a quick drink. Feel free. And then we, we're going to do a little bit of sideline work. So if you want to use your band for this, you can. Um, I, I'm not going to use it. I don't like the knee in and out thing that I'm going to do. So if you want to use your band, you can it's totally applicable here. You can. I'm not going to. Okay, so bring your right elbow down. And then bring your left hand to the ground. Okay? We're going to take the left leg. And we're going to come up to the side. Good job. Up to the side. Good job. That's it. Lift and pull. Lift and pull. Okay, so you're stabilizing right there. You want to be mindful that you're not um, leaning way to your right. And then control that leg up with the knee. Starting to catch your breath right here. You got just a little left, a little bit left. Squeeze through and release. Squeeze through and release. Time good. Now that knee is gonna come to shoulder, and we're gonna extend it back to shoulder and extend it back. The reason we open up the hips like this, one elbow, one palm, is it's just gonna hit the side of the glute a little better, and it's gonna give you better range of motion. And when both elbows or both palms are down, it kind of restricts how far you can go. If you need to have the elbows both down or the palms both down, know that that's okay. You're not going to hurt yourself. You're just going to go deeper and farther like this. Squeeze it back. You can point, you can flex, but do one. Squeeze it back. Time to leave that leg out and then we're just going to pop it. Again, I like to keep the hip open for this one because then we're going to hit the same muscle of the glute, right? If we change the stance here, if we change the upper half here, you start working into a different muscle. So this is just going to keep the same spots on the body active. After this, we've got a little bit of side plank to side plank, and then we'll hit the other side. Keeping your abs nice and tight. Feeling that squeeze as we pop it up. Keeping it high, just a little above the glute. Belly's tight. Last little bit. Time good. Okay, we're going to do side plank to side plank. So I like to do this on my palms. If your wrists are tender, do it on your elbows. Find your plank, separate your feet. We're going to go side, then we're going to reach up. And go side, and we're gonna reach up. Find the stretch, okay? So, a couple things right here. If you want, you can have a push up to make it harder, right? Do a tricep push up in the middle and then to the side. 
alternating, okay? If you need less, you can come down onto your knee, straight, straight, you can straighten out into it, you can stay on your knees if you'd like to, no, you're perfect. You can stay on your knees. There's a couple different options, so just listen to what your body is telling you works for you today. And again, I like to just come up top. You can even take the top knee in, tap the elbow, tap the in, tap the elbow. Okay, lots of different variations of that side to side. Time to come to center. First, give yourself a child's pose. Release your upper body. Right, release your back. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Cool, let's hit the other side. So, last two minutes of your workout. Left elbows down, right palm is on the floor. The right leg is going to come up to the side and down by your hand. Right, like your dog lifting your leg. <laughs> Keep that knee bent. You want to think about a 90 degree angle, right? 90 degrees in that knee. And then think about lifting. Sometimes the foot starts to lead. So really think about how your knee is coming up, right? How perfect Julie's knee comes up. It's, she's using her glute. She's using the IT band, the side of the body, rather than letting her foot lead. So that's really important just to keep the same glute muscles active without compensating. Time to Now, knee comes to shoulder. Pull it in. Stretch it out. Go all the way out behind you. Stretch it out. Okay, when you come in, try and touch your knee to your tricep without tucking the tailbone. So push the butt back. Right, you're gonna get a little bit of a tuck in your hips, but it's not this huge tuck. It's just enough to create contact. So I'll tell you, if your hips are crazy tight, you're not gonna get there. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> so, and that is totally fine. It's just because your hips are tight. If you can, pull your knee all the way in, touch your tricep. It's more abs, it's more glutes. Time, leave your leg back, point the toe as pump. Right now, this point right here helps me with stabilization of through the rest of the body a little bit better. You could also flex. I just prefer the point. And then pulling the abs and push the earth away from you. Don't let yourself sink, right? Sometimes we get tired, we start to sink, right? Press the floor away. Pull the belly button in. You are powerful in that hold. Squeeze it up, up, a little bit more. Finish it. Time to release out of it. Side plank to side plank. Here we go. Find your plank position you want to use for one side to side. Let's twist and reach. Core is tight. Belly button's tight, right? Remember your couple of options. Okay, you can stand palm. Do it from your knees. Straighten out one side. Straighten out the other side. Add a push up if you want more upper body. If you want more abs, take your knee, tap your elbow. Come back to the other side. Take your knee, tap your elbow. Okay, so you can find what works for you. Otherwise, just go side to side. Twist and reach, a little lower intensity out work. Finishing up strong, time to drop to your knees. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Feet together, knees out, push your hips back to your heels, spine child's pose. <laughs> Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Let it go. Then one more big breath in, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Nice, on your next breath, come up to your palms and to your knees. Cat cow, knees stack under the hips, wrists are under the shoulders. Take a big inhale, look up, drop your belly. Exhale, push them out away from you, chin to chest, round like an angry cat. Let's do two more. Inhale, come up, look up, reach up, way up, get up. Exhale, round, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, drop shoulders away from you, ears, head up, look up. Exhale, tuck, chin to chest, push those away. Round and out, flat the spine. Tuck your toes, hips come up, down dog. Walk it out, heel toe. Give yourself a little stretch right there, heel toe. Pushing the heels down. Walk in the dog. Inhale on your next breath, drop down to your knees and then sit onto your hips. Right, if you wanna do a little stretch with us, we're gonna just keep it quick right here. So we're gonna stretch out the glutes. So what you're gonna do, grab the back of the thighs, roll yourself onto your back. And then take your right ankle onto your left knee, right? Create a space. We're going to thread the needle. Reach that space you've created. Either grab your hamstring or grab your shin. Try and interlace all ten fingers. And then pull your tailbone down. Pull your shoulders back. Tuck your chin back and the neck is long. And you feel a little stretch. Continue to pull the shoulders down. Pull the knee and pull the tailbone down. You want to feel the stretch through the back. The flatter your back, the more you're stretching through your hips. Take a big inhale. Exhale. And then release that grip. Take your right leg, 
Cross it all the way over, so like you're sitting in a chair. Reach up, grab your ankles or your shins, wherever you can. Pretzel stretch. You're gonna grab wherever you can on your legs. If it's right below the knees, that's okay. Try to pull the upper body down. Then kick your legs, pull them out to the sides, up to your shoulders. You're gonna feel this really, really awesome glute stretch. Do that muscle we were working. Releasing the glutes is gonna help you with um, releasing the, low, the lower back, releasing tension through the lower back and the hips. And then release this. We'll do the other side. Left ankle's on your right knee. Reach through that space. You've created thread your needle. Try to get your legs all connecting in the knee. Pull the tailbone down, shoulders back. And just allow that hip to open up a little bit. Take a nice breath. All right, remember when we breathe, we tell the body it's okay to relax. It actually sends a signal to your central nervous system that says, okay, it's okay, we can relax now. And then release that grip. Take the left leg, cross it over the right leg like you're sitting in a chair. Reach up, grab wherever you can. If you can grab your ankles, do it. If it's below your knees, cool. Pull your shoulders back, tailbone down, and then pull those legs up and up like you're trying to touch your heels to your armpits. Simultaneously pull that tailbone down so your glute stretches. Nice inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then release out of it. Grab the outside of the feet if you need to practice happy baby. Pull your tailbone down, pull your shoulders back, just let those knees open. You may want to rock side to side. Try to straighten out the legs. Just do what feels good. Think about pulling your knees up, you're trying to touch the floor. Pull your tailbone down. Take a big breath. Exhale, pull a little bit more. Huh? Yep. And then bend your knees, grab the back of your thighs. Roll yourself up to a seated position. Right? And just find. A nice seat, give your shoulders a couple rolls back. Give your shoulders a couple rolls forward. And then before we go, just take a moment, maybe close your eyes and just thinking of something to be grateful for. Often when we're stressed and when we're anxious and when things aren't going maybe the way that we planned them to, it can be a lot harder to reach for things that feel good, reach for better feeling emotions, better feeling thoughts find things that we're grateful for. So I just invite you right now to think of something, someone that you are just grateful for. Let that gratitude just fill your body. Know that it's not about what's going on outside of you. It's about what's going on inside of you. And you always, always, always have the choice to reach for something that feels better than the current thought you're thinking, even if it has nothing to do with a negative thought. There's always something that feels better. Take a big breath in, exhale, let it go, open your eyes, and then just tuck your chin, roll your head one way, roll the head the other, come into center, inhale, arms come up. As you exhale, coming heart to center, feeling so grateful for a body that works. Good job. Thanks, job, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you um, feel your glutes tomorrow. <laughs> Anything to say, Julie? Nope, that's it. Nope, that's it. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Love you all. Until next time. Until next time.